he has a prepared statement he would like to, to read, and then we'll uh, we'll field some questions. Are we ready? Yeah, go ahead, John. Thank you all for being here today. I pray every day that I will see my mom again. This has been a complete nightmare. She does not deserve this. We are not rich, but she felt that we had enough to share. She loves life, her family, friends, and her best friend, Rocky. She has a strong spirit with a kind heart, independent and fun, and fun to be around, and most of all, loving. I know my mom is a fighter because she taught me how to fight. So if, she, so if you can hear me, I want, you, I want you to fight and be strong because we are going to find you soon. I want to thank all the police departments involved and the FBI for their tremendous effort to save my only mom. Curious questions? She worked in Napa at a company called ProLab Orthotics. Yeah, she she's been with the company twenty plus years. What is the company called? ProLab Orthotics. And what does she do there? She um Make she makes orthotics. custom orthotics, like prescription orthotics. Oh. Yeah. John, can you maybe like a little closer to the mic? That problem makes sense. Was that a normal thing that she would do? Usually go to that company, the marketing company? Yes, that's normal. If she was tired, she her her uh, her carpool would drive her straight home, or if she was feeling you know up up and about. She would she wanted to get dropped off like at Future City. Um, did your mom have any known enemies or any perceived threats before this incident happened? No. We're just saying they're we're just saying they're acquaintance. We're not going beyond that right now. I thought it was a joke. I, I text back. I, 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 I thought it was. A, I thought. I thought it was a joke. I didn't think it was real. And what did you text back? Something about you know the kids. Some stuff that was un, un, inappropriate. And uh, then, I can't can't repeat. And then when did she begin to get worried? I mean, what did she want that to do? What took place in your mind? I wasn't getting a response. Yeah, that, I wasn't getting an answer from her, and her her phone was went to straight to voicemail. Did she have any idea why she would be targeted? I mean, because you guys still don't have a lot of money, right? I mean, it's not like no, it doesn't make sense. I don't know why we would be targeted. What would you like to say to those that, are, as you know, there are four people um, in custody who have the answer? What would you say to those folks? I would tell them to give it up and let, let my mom go. Tell tell her where she's at. So one of her friends described her as not having a lot, but always giving whatever she had. Food particularly started out so it seemed like she was. Is your mom that kind of person? Yeah, she's, she's that type. Of, she's the type that, that type of person. She could barely make her rent. Barely make her rent. She was bankrupt. Yeah, she's bankrupt. What has this been like for you these last? It's now been almost two weeks, right? It's it's a complete nightmare. It just feels it feels so unreal. Like there's times I wake up and just like I'm checking to see if if this if this is still going on. I've been been I've been to the doctor already. When was the last time you saw your mother? Or had you contacted? It was the weekend before on a Saturday. We went up to 
took her out to eat and we went to Walmart and took her out to dinner. And did you see her weekly? 